Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Sunday. How is everybody doing today? This is Betsy with Birth in the Know. And this is day 14 of my challenge to myself to ask you a question about birth. So this is kind of like birth trivia. Day 14 of my challenge to myself to go live. And I am here on this beautiful Sunday from my outdoor office in Florida. And I hope whatever you're doing, you're having a great day. And if you have a comment or a question, please go ahead and share that. I got these sunglasses on. Hey, good morning, Terry. I mean, good afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon. Okay, let me take these off, but I can see what's going on at the bottom when I have my glasses on. As you can see, this is impromptu. Okay, my question of the day. When is induction of labor medically necessary? Do you know? I'm sure that either you or you know someone that was induced. It seems like, a, well, there's a, there's a good majority of women that are induced to bring on labor, an artificial means to bring on labor. The answer is, get ready, drum roll, when it is safer for a mother to give birth than to stay pregnant. That's the answer. So what does that mean? Well, there's, there's a lot to that. My point is that if your doctor or midwife is talking about inducing your labor, talking about induction, you get to know what that means, what it is, how, why, are you okay, is the baby okay, there are ways to check. What, what is the reason for the induction? Is it because it's safer for you than to stay pregnant or safer for the baby for some reason? Is it, a, is it a matter of medical necessity? If it's a matter of, like I was talking about yesterday, this the estimated due date and you've gone past your date, it doesn't necessarily mean that your baby is past due and that you need to be induced. If you're watching this and you're not pregnant, but you might be one day, this is great information I'm sharing with you. I want you to ask the questions and know where you stand with what you want for your own birth. I believe knowledge is power and the earlier you learn what your options are, I think the better choices you're going to make. If you're now pregnant, ask away too. Ask your provider all these questions. Know what is being discussed. You have a choice. There goes Moses. Hey, Cordelia. Oh, thanks for the kudos. Um, yeah, I'm speaking my mind. I'm speaking what's on my mind and what's in my heart about birth. I've been sharing my knowledge and wisdom for years and teaching and I don't know. I'm just not seeing the changes that I'd like to see in the birth culture. And I know there's a lot of great groups. What is going on with Moses? Hey, stop. <laughs> Sorry, my outdoor office. So the dog joins me every day. <laughs> yes. He's barking at an animal or something. Sorry for the distraction. Okay, so we're talking about induction. And why would you need to be induced? Why would a pregnant woman be told or asked if she wanted to be induced for labor? Babies come when they're ready. There's a perfect setup within the body. There's a whole host of things that go on. I'm not going to get into that today. But I am here to say that there is sometimes a medical indication for induction and that is when it is safer for you to give birth for you to not be pregnant anymore and for you to give birth and and that's when when it is really medically necessary and i'm here to say that there are many more inductions of labor than are medically necessary and one intervention most often leads to another <laughs> Oh, Steven Schwartz, my favorite cheerleader, my husband. <laughs> um, thank you, everybody, for watching. I want you to know 
what there is to ask about birth, but more importantly, starting with what you already know and allow yourself to be, be guided, but also learn. There's a, it, birth is a whole new subject. There's a whole new language. There's a lot to learn about birth. I didn't know any of this before I had my first son or even my second one. I knew more. I feel like when you learn this stuff earlier on, then later on, you can do something about the information, with the information. And it's never too late to learn. If you want to know more about birth, go to my website at Birth in the Know. I've got some great blog articles and all kinds of stuff on my website that um, you're welcome to read. I also have a, an ultimate guide download for some of the great resources um, in birth, and you could check that out. I just want to share what I know, and I want you to stand in your power in birth and know that you have a choice for every single test, intervention, procedure that's presented to you. And there's no such thing as allowing. You get to decide, you get to choose. Knowledge is power. That is my spew on this Sunday. And I'm just seeing who's hopped on. Thanks if you've hopped on, if you watch this later. Anybody feel free, share this. The more the merrier. Have a beautiful Sunday, whatever it is that you're doing for your life. And I also invite you to challenge yourself and step out of your comfort zone like I'm doing right now with this 14-day challenge. Today is my last day, Betsy at Birth in the Know. And I don't know, there's more to come, though. I'm not sure yet what it looks like, but you'll be watching for it. And talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.